Sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I really wonder. So many bad things have been happening to me. Being antagonized for no reason. Having this feeling that maybe I might be gang stopped. And if that's the case, does it mean that I'm the chosen one? Hello everyone, once again this is Dare to Speak. I don't want to jump to conclusions. Of course, there could be a rational explanation to what's happening to me. What I'm going through right now, what I have been going through for the past, I don't know, a year at the, at the most and little by little by degrees you know by degrees it's been getting worse and it was only lately that I've been seriously contemplating because of the fact that There's been a great deal of animosity or I would say, I would call it like a great deal of um, paranoia from some, from some people. There's, um, there's been people that have been friendly with me for an extent, you know, for a while when they first get to know me. But at the same time, after a while, they start to get a little bit hesitant. And then they accuse me of something that I didn't do. It's like being next to a bipolar person. They're nice, they're nice one, one minute for a while and then after a couple of weeks, they start to slowly become a little bit aloof with you and then they just go off on you for no reason. And I'm like, what the fuck's, what the fuck did I do? But it's, I feel this strange energy like, like, like it's, like it's chasing me. But it's just hopping from vessel to vessel. Like every, every perfect, every person that could, that I pretty much run into, not, not everyone, but most people. They act like they're suspicious of me, like I'm up to something. It's like someone saying, hey, uh, why were you talking to that person for? And I'm like, nothing, She's, I'm just talking to her. Oh, don't talk to that person. She says you're making her feel uncomfortable. Oh, why are you doing this? Why are you, why are you sitting there here? Why are you sitting here all by yourself? With your with your, with that phone, are you recording people? Like, no, I'm not recording anybody. I'm just I'm a TikToker. I do videos, and also um, YouTube. You know that. Come on. Just because I'm outside with a, with my smartphone doing videos, that person and a couple of other persons who are spreading rumors about me are saying that I'm recording them without them knowing. Are uh, or. You know, being some kind of suit, being some sort of stalker or something like that. And it gets to the point where it starts to get frustrating, but at the same time, 
it just doesn't, it just doesn't pan out. I can understand if it happens once in a while, but it's been happening more and more often. And the intensity is like, like it's trying to push me to that level in order for me to do something stupid so I can get arrested or I can get kicked out or, or um, evicted from my apartment. So the more negativity, because there's not enough negativity for me to bring me down. Because either I'm, I'm too I'm too aware of it, or because of something else, whatever the case may be. One smart thing that I've that I've, that I've actually have done was stay away from family. There's been too much family drama. And the family drama is really bad and of course people friends that people that I used to be friends with that are very good friends with my with my siblings them knowing that I'm an atheist and and the way I express my atheism and stuff like that make, makes it worse I became like what is known as an outcast just because I'm an atheist just because I don't believe in Jesus and the Bible or God anymore. Or I don't believe in the existence of Satan. I mean, it's just, it's just very dumb. So I know that family drama can get me into trouble if, uh, if, I'm, if I'm around my siblings for too long. Hanging out with them at gatherings and stuff like that. It doesn't bother me if, I, if I'm not around them anymore. Or hardly, not what I should say, not, not around them that often. Only during special occasions, like someone's birthday or um, Christmas or Thanksgiving, things like that. Then I would. But aside from that, I want to stay away from them because of the family drama. It could possibly lead to something bad. Now that's one thing. Family is one thing, but people that I'm trying to be that I'm friends with, and then they automatically just just change their their attitude, their mood. Some of them, some of them um, will talk to me out of reluctance. Some of them will not even talk to me at all. They'll just make an excuse, saying, "Oh, I I think I'm going. I'm I'm busy right now. I'm sorry." You know, and I heard from someone who some somebody was been spreading rumors about me. That I'm, that I'm a weirdo, that I'm, I'm a stalker, I'm this and that, just because they see me by myself at night, just relaxing, sitting there. That doesn't mean anything. And also because of the fact that I even have, so have um, my smartphone, and I'm recording myself doing TikTok videos, I'm considered a weirdo because I'm not doing this in my own room in my in my own uh, apartment. Why should I, why should I do it in, in front of a in front of a building? Well, first of all, I could, anybody can do whatever they want in their property. I mean, I can walk around in the middle of the night if I wanted to. There's other people who do that. There's people who, who go out there for a smoke. I I, I smoke my occasional cigar. If I'm, if I'm out there smoking a cigar by myself and someone sees me, I'm not a weirdo because I'm out there smoking a cigar. Because we're not allowed to smoke. No. Well, you know. <laughs> but the point is, the, the thing is, though, if I'm not doing that, I'm just sitting there by myself and then, or, or there with a smartphone, and I'm up to something. And I notice when I go to certain places, when I visit certain places, um, whether well, there's a restaurant or family restaurant and they're doing there with us, um, just sitting there talking to people. I get this weird feeling that someone is just looking at me, waiting for me to fuck up. It's like saying, give me an excuse to call the cops or give me an excuse to kick your ass. Or give me an excuse to do this, to, to go off on you. 
if I'm talking to somebody's wife or somebody's girlfriend, someone that I know very well, and they say, hey, don't talk to her anymore, or don't, or don't talk to us anymore. I mean, I didn't do anything wrong. And then I hear about the so-called gang stalking by the use of these, um, these, um, spirit, uh, I'm, I'm not, they're not spirits. I don't call them spirits, but these entities that hop from vessel to vessel and they attach themselves to the auric field and then they possess their mind and they use them just to look at me, um, and to cause some sort of, uh, antagonism in order to increase as much negative energy. Now, I don't know if this makes any sense to you guys, but if it does, I would like to know more about any kind of precautions with this. If this is the case, which I'm starting to lean a lot more towards the possibility because this is this antagonism is just is happening way, way, way too fucking much. I mean, I'm not saying I'm ready to snap or anything like that, no. But, um... Let's just say that I'm a little worried. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Questions or comments, you know what to do. And this is Dare to Speak. And to all of you, take care.